Okay, so if you missed the last segment with Rach and Deja, our Mark Sports team out there in the Everglades, you missed a lot, but there's even more yeah. doing python hunting. I like that. Rach and Deja. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a law firm. <laughs> <laughs> it does, right? I call it Rage and Deja. <laughs> uh, anyhow, yeah, pythons, the bad news. We need to kill them. And uh, you can go python hunting with the python huntress herself. And Rachel hung out with her over the weekend, and here's a look at it. You got him, girl. <gasps> look at you. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I just did that. He's hissing at you. I know. Sorry, my guy. Well, the Burmese python, one of Florida's apex predators. They have no natural predators to fear, and instead, they wreak havoc on Florida's natural habitat and animals. Pythons are invasive yeah. in the Everglades, and they have eaten 98% of the mammals in parts of the Everglades. They are wreaking havoc on the Florida ecosystem. So we have to do everything we can to try to eliminate as many as we can. So humans like Amy Seaweed, the python huntress, have stepped in to help fix this problem. Her truck is tricked out with spotlights and a snake deck to give us the perfect view of the slithering swamp below us. But like any form of hunting, you don't always find what you're looking for. Oh, stop. So what's happening is he's coming from here and he's going to get in the canal but what happens is they cross the road and then they get killed so i'm trying to save their lives because they are native and we do like our green water snakes they are very nippy and stinky but they're very cool so and i don't like when they bite my fingertips but it sometimes happens so i'm going to go ahead and run him across the street so he can get into the canal Amy is a native snake savior, but the invasive snakes like this, 82 actually, he's 82 inches. That's a more than six foot long python we caught that have to go. The best part is Amy will take you. I tell you what, the coolest thing about this is that I get to teach people how to do it right. Mm -hmm. You know, people come in town, and some people live here, and I get to teach them how to catch pythons, what to look for, what they're going to be doing, how, how to do it properly, and all the rules and laws, because there are a lot of laws in place for these guys. Right. And you have to know what those are before you go out hunting. So it's, it's great for everyone. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, again, uh, you could go python hunting with a python huntress. She hunts for the invasive Burmese pythons throughout the Everglades. She'll give you some tips and strategies on how you can do it. Uh, May 1st through October 31st is a window, and we have information for you on our website. It's like a whole other world out there. It's, it's amazing. I can't believe they did that. I was saying I would want to go down there, but then Ryan over here said I'd probably never come back. <laughs> you didn't even so, do well in the so reptile house. I houses. think he's going to go up to management and work out a special, uh, special report for me to go on. <laughs> Greg Parker in the Everglades. Oh, I like this idea. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Lost in the Everglades. Uh, anyhow, let us know if you got an idea. We love the unique stuff. We love the fun stuff because, well, we're fun and unique. Uh, there's Rachel's email at the bottom of your screen. We are fun and unique, and part of that has very little to do with us. Yes, we are nobodies. <laughs> it's because we have a great team that, unfortunately, you guys don't get to see very often. So if you can come out to us for a second, one of our team members.